like the eagle watching the direction of the wind and then it spreads its wings that's what we call soaring it does not fly the eagle soars we are going to talk quickly about entering into a relationship now the process the process of entering into a relationship again let me have one lady and one guy please can we have them quickly quickly we have to one lady Taiwo, please come again Aaron, God bless you. One lady and one guy. Hallelujah. Please look up. There is no crime. Everybody look up, please. There is no crime, brother, in seeing a sister that you love and you find yourself affectionate about. It does not make you unspiritual. Emoji, hello. Can you hear me? There is no crime. <laughs> there is no crime. Hallelujah. When you find out as a brother, a good Christian brother, hearing the word in a, in a, in a meeting like, look at Koinonia, inside, people are inside, outside. Now you, are, you have been seeing this sister, she's in the choir. Her name is Taiwo. Hallelujah. Always ministering. Something is moving. Something is changing. <laughs> Hallelujah. Please listen. I have to rush. We have to be out of here. Now, listen, brothers. When you want to end, let me look at. Look at me. Do you know why this thing keeps backfiring for some brothers? Let me tell you one of the reasons. The Bible says the labor of the fool will weary him. Not because there is no road. He doesn't know the road to the city. The reason why many of you, it's not necessarily because you are not nice. You don't know how to do this thing. You will not seek advice. You will not seek counsel. You just see a lady like this after Koinonia. Worship team. They are holding their hands to pray. You can't even wait. Let them finish the prayer. You've got to stand close. You are just moving around. You can't wait. They say hug 20 people. You didn't hug anybody. You are just gallivanting around the worship team square here. As soon as they finish, just say, sister, please, can I talk to you? Now the lady said, well, for the benefit of doubt, we just finished fellowship. Say, I've been watching you. I have policeman. You have been watching her. What else? I've been watching you. And uh, the other day, I, I was I was talking with my friend just says please please I know where you are going please I beg you just save yourself any stress it won't work you just get up and go to your room say this colonial lady self now I'll, let me just kukuma be sitting outside you look you you will pray these are people that are seeing us pray they know I'm a man of God yet you won't say yes hallelujah listen Listen. Everybody say friendship. friendship. Say it, friendship. friendship. This is the first step to entering a relationship. You can't come and meet a perfect stranger because of your unbelieving roommates did it. You just saw one, one, one lady who just came in hundred level in her innocence. Her mother told her, "When you go here, don't do." Now the guy just came to threaten her, and the lady, out of fear, she just said, "Oh yeah, yes." Because she doesn't know what to have. You too, you were inspired by that testimony. You now got up and met a Christian sister who has been hearing the word. You just come and meet her. Say, I want to marry you. Pray about it. What is wrong with you? Eh, your father did it. So what? Change. See, listen. If your wife is your best friend, that naturally tells you that the probability of finding her among your friends is very high. Correct? The best friend is the best among friends. Is that true? Some of you, you don't have friends. This is what makes the sister know that you are ready to enter a relationship. You don't work with anybody. You don't greet anybody. In Suddenly, ah, after miracle service, you have still roaming around worship team. You, you don't greet anybody. You are not in any group. After prayer, band finishes praying, you just turn. You are, you are always alone. You are talking alone as if you are out of your mind. 
when the sister starts seeing you near, she's even afraid. She doesn't know whether you are fine or not. Something wrong with this brother? Does he need counseling? You must be friendly. Are you listening to me? Listen. Guys, let me give you a big secret. If you can make a lady laugh genuinely and sincerely, you have taken some good steps into that journey. I give you a tip that will work for you. Hallelujah. Don't carry your boring, boring life. Your roommates should test run whether you are sociable or not. They are always running away from you. Ah, flog it in your room first before you go and disgrace yourself. To one lady. You are in love. You are pretending like you are not in love. You are just boning your face and coming to the girl. You say, can I see you? The girl say, I'm busy. Come now, you have yourself. Be friends. One of the best ways of being friends is join a department. Join a department. One of the benefits of a department is that it will help your social life. Is that true? The worship team are so, so, if you see them, you'll be amazed. They love one another. Some of them were not like that when they started. Is that true? The ushers, ushers, are you there? They love themselves. Who do you love? Who loves you? You don't know. When you enter, when, see, service in the house of God is a big helper to take you out of inferiority and complex. They'll tell you, lead prayer. Now you lead prayer. And when you lead prayer, ah, after the prayer meeting, Tyro says, wow, that was nice. Oh, pure sisterly love. No strings attached. You too, you are happy. You didn't know how to do it. Now you can watch Aaron do it. You are, you are learning. Who will know that you don't know? Tomorrow now you come, they say, oh, go on another. You are making progress. Are you making progress? It's not like you are, you join the department with the intention to marry the lady. But you are becoming sociable. It's giving them an opportunity to see your sincere heart. Is that true? One day the lady comes late. You stand up for her. Ah, ah. She says, wow, that was so kind. You are learning. You are reducing your journey. You don't know. Some of you come from nowhere. You see people who have been functioning. They are taking their time. You think you have the spirit of... You just run from nowhere. They don't know you. You have no history. You just came for koinonia twice. You think you want a wife. You just come and carry anybody. We won't give you our ladies like that. Come and sit down. Share the word of God. We want to be sure of the kinds of things our ladies... Uh, you, they can't be praying in tongues. You come with your Babylon for wherever. Because you did talking for two weeks. You think it's enough to carry them. No, sir. They are not that cheap. Hallelujah. Entering into a relationship. Take time to build friendship. See, not friendship for the purpose of relationship. Be a free person. Be happy with people. Are you listening to me? And ladies, there are some of you, you are not helping yourself. Make sure when brothers smile and greet you, you just say he likes me. Abba! You are in a church. What kind of insecurity is that? A brother smiles at you, he just hugs you. You go back and say, I've been watching. It's a lie. It's a lie. Please. This guy is pressing into God. It's a lie. Don't blackmail him. He loves God. You just see a brother like you. The next thing you start becoming edgy and funny. Everybody say friendship. So, Aaron begins to be friends. Maybe from department or something. He may be in the same department. He may be in the different department. You know, you are just serving in the house of God genuinely. It gives room for the sincerity of your heart to be tested. Are you listening to me? You are consistent in the body of Christ. At least the lady sees you. You are a face that they know around. She knows what you are hearing. You know what she's hearing. Is, is somebody hearing what I'm saying? Very important. Never go out with a guy who you don't know who is feeding him and you don't know what is entering his head. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The second thing is seek counsel. Seek counsel. Many people think this is an act of immaturity. Many of you do not know. Look at me, brothers. Let me give you a secret. If you don't respect us, these ladies respect us. Are you listening to me? 
by the time you start meandering around them, they will call us. They will say, sorry, yo, this guy has been roaming around not to be presumptuous. And you, you think you are playing smartness. Every time you see us, you will claim as if the lady is this and that, while the lady has already told us. And you will be disgracing yourself. Hallelujah. Very important. Seek counsel. There is nothing wrong. We are not demons. You can ask Pastor Jake. There are times that he comes to tell me, ah, so so and so so person. This guy likes this person. You can even see me jumping and say, yeah, our people are entering good relationships. There are some relationships when we hear you have entered, we start crying. We start crying. You don't know the guy, but we, we know him. Hallelujah. Please seek counsel. Seek counsel. Don't seek counsel from unbelievers who tell you just try, oh. There is an age where guys will be coming, oh. You will get to an age nobody will come, oh. Just try. Uh uh. Hallelujah. When you are entering into a relationship, friendship, friendship, 